But how, how much is that? Brad Hensel is a man's man, the ultimate procrastinator. He's been putting off his holiday shopping for months now. I always wait till the last minute. Not on everything, but on Christmas, I just seem to wait the last minute. With just hours to go, he's getting gifts for his family at the mall. How's the wife feeling about all this? Oh, she knows. I left this morning. She's at home. I said, I got to go Christmas shopping. I said, okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bring back something good. <laughs> Over at the Target on Bosky Road in Waco, that's crazy. We caught Justin Darrington and his brother doing the same thing. It seems like this year it came faster than it normally does, and I, I woke up and it was Christmas Eve. Justin says the economy has made it a little harder for him this year. After a record-setting Black Friday, national retail analysts have seen more than a 4% dip from 2011, but the holiday shopping season isn't over yet. Game pack for the, for it's, the it's actually nerfed. With all that Christmas cash given out, those sluggish numbers could perk up. We see spending. We see the gift cards. Definitely, it's one of our busiest days of the year is the day after for gift cards. You know, Super Bowl's only a month away, so we have some good prices on our TVs. So we tend to see some of that happening. But just in general, like electronics items uh, are good sellers for Christmas anyways, and we see a lot of that on the day after. In Waco, Colby Howe reporting.